So we're back with another video. I'm doing some time lapse. There's a lot of time lapse in this video. I'm currently cutting my grass. Now, I did improve my grass a whole lot more than I did last year. It's not perfect, but I think as long as we are improving a weakness that we had the previous year, we're doing something right. Weed eater line, okay? With my weed eater, I use about 18 feet. So, that's my arm span, six feet. 6, 12, 18, roughly. I do 18 feet. And then find the center by bringing the ends together, like so, and pulling straight down until I get to the center of the line down here, right about here, just cutting it in half. Now, on my spool here, it does give you a direction. Hopefully you can see the arrows. It looks like a U-shaped, both pointing this way to your left. So I've got a notch here. I'm gonna start it and literally just roll it this way from the center, holding both of them and splitting it over the two edges here, all the way down until I get to the end. So get it to where you're almost to the end. And what you're gonna see here you're gonna see these two notches on either side, opposite sides. Bring your line through one of them here, like so. Your other one through the other side. Like so. And then I'll show you what to do next. You've got the cover. You see these two silver indentions? That's where this string goes. So you line it up with where those are gonna go, like so. Pull them down like so. So they're both pulled down now. That's why we had those two divots in our spool. And then we're gonna line up our clips here to clip right in, like so. And you're done, that's it. So I'm not sure if you guys remember from last year, I had a lot of these weird looking weeds. I'm not sure what they're called. I have a little bit in this one area it was these really weird looking, I don't even know what to call these. Like, what are these? Regardless, I had so much of those in my yard, my yard last year, around the tree and all this. So I'm gonna tell you, the lawn ain't perfect this year, being my second year really caring about my lawn, but if there's one W, it is, I barely have any of those weeds in my yard. So, had a tough time growing Along here, you can see my edge, I was weed eating. It looks okay, you know, we're still practicing. Got my tahine on my Michelob Ultra here. I think I've earned a beer today um, after the coop, which I haven't even showed you yet. But for the most part, grass looks pretty nice. Had a problem growing grass here too. I'm not sure why this one area, say hello to my Crocs. This one area wouldn't grow grass. It was really strange, but we're learning, it's not perfect, but I think overall, pretty damn nice lawn. I'll take it. So it's Monday morning and you've probably never seen my dining room. Kind of got a lot of stuff going on with packaging and stuff, but hey, decorated my living room. Girlfriend helped, she did a great job. Feels good, feels great. Here's the bathroom I haven't finished yet. You love to see it, there's my dirty clothes. And then my office. Yo, the chickens are getting big. Look how big they're getting. It's hard to tell, probably. You have no idea this camera's that close to you, do you? They're getting big, guys. They're getting real big already. So I've had them for a week. So they're probably, I don't know, nine, 10 days old. Um, what I've actually researched online, there's the setup. Yeah. Um, what I've researched online is uh, about Three weeks in, you have to start acclimating them to the actual coop. We're trying, we're trying. I told you guys that I got the roof built yesterday. I'll probably put a little bit more support on the roof here, but elevated single pitch roof. Um, angles were a bitch to figure out because of the very shallow angle. Um, I had to go all the way to the end, but actually looks pretty decent, of course. Probably not up to code 
with everyone's knowledge if you're a licensed contractor but we got quite a bit done yesterday my dad helped again didn't want to put them on camera so didn't get to film the roof but now I want to actually paint this this inside and out before I start doing the roof because I do want to put some protective exterior paint same color as my house on the roof so it matches and then I can start decking putting on the drip edge all that fun stuff before it starts raining it's supposed to rain later today so remember how nice it looks right now because it ain't going to be nice later probably I think it goes without saying when you do something on your own you get a lot of like pride out of it now there are a lot of chicken coops you can buy online from tractor supply um the last one i looked at was about 900 bucks and honestly that's probably what i'm going to pay at the end of this complete build in terms of lumber cost um etc but at the same time i'm building it to what i kind of want and i think it's gonna last a bit longer and like i said it goes back to pride um figuring stuff out has always been something i've been really interested in i kind of make things work it might not always be perfect but you have to get out there and get out of your comfort zone um i did not want to do this by myself i wanted my good friend mark to kind of hold my hand the whole time all i did was ask some questions picked his brain and just kind of went with it so so far so good the roof does need a little bit more stability but hey man we're, we're trying and we're having fun right we kind of have this one side done this is going to be a window so i didn't want to coat it in case any rain might somehow push in here it'll just be a nice painted surface i'm gonna go around the back side here again we're getting all of this all the way around on the insides a little tedious um didn't pick some of the best two by fours to paint because they have a lot of weird like texture here so i really had to pat my paintbrush in there to get it to work but let your paintbrush work for you guys all right kind of hold it like a pencil back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth you'll get it eventually you'll get it guys in terms of painting um i've always been a big fan but with something like this that is so tedious with different angles different surfaces going in different directions it did take quite a bit of time as i'm actually doing this commentary i'm realizing um all the work it took me yesterday really didn't boil down into that much of interesting content in terms of seeing a build um because like i said i couldn't film the building but regardless i'm gonna try today it is actually the 17th uh, today's tuesday i'm gonna try to get the roof built in terms of more stability put the osb on top um the black tarp paper the drip edge and maybe get the metal roof installed as well we'll see how it goes but for now um we're just showing you a lot of painting because that's all i did yesterday rain's coming told you it was um apollo's been chasing bugs all morning haven't you meanwhile champ over there being an old man regardless we single coated everything of interest in terms of protecting it from the weather and water damage that it might have in the future i did do the window seals i think i showed you that already on both sides and i'm considering leaving this open permanently with some chicken wire obviously to always have um air kind of exiting so it doesn't get nasty in there and then these windows this one and that one over there that i painted around i'm probably going to build something to where i can put the window up and cover it in the winter time in the summertime just take it off and have a nice breeze kind of going through here but i'm excited it's getting there i don't think i'm gonna be able to do any decking today because i don't want to be fighting the rain here but we're getting closer guys a little bit of effort goes a long way i'm telling you if you guys are curious about the paint color i'm using i guess that would be all of the codes i don't understand a lot of different colors there in case you're curious i'm gonna do the second coat here ended up uh not raining yet ate some lunch took a nap I'm gonna do the second coat now which will go a lot quicker because it'll uh spread a lot easier on the second coat so i'm just gonna do the outside here and probably the bottom and these should be fine with one coat since it's actually underneath so we'll get that done real quick a lot of you know me from my main gaming channel where i do a lot of fortnite content um but doing stuff like this for you guys in terms of content really makes me feel like i'm doing something more than just spending my money on video game microtransactions 
um even though like i enjoy doing that content too this content is showcasing that i have a lot more to offer than just playing video games <laughs> you know what i mean like i have so many things i know how to do in life and i hope i can teach you along the way so thank you wanted to give you guys my next plans i'll probably put some nailers here for the roofing every two foot two foot two foot just so it's easier to screw the metal roofing down this way um i do want to put some chicken wire on these openings before i roof it so i can actually stand up here and work and tie it down um so this is always going to be open in terms of ventilation and the windows here are going to have um closable covers for the winter but you always got to have some type of ventilation so that will always be open to let the air kind of circulate around but i think that's it for this video guys i'm tired even though i just took a nap um i got item shop reset in about 25 minutes cheers drink responsibly and y'all stay sweaty we'll see you next time